What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Martavius Baker, aka Tony from DJ's MMP. Make sure y'all go check that out on Amazon Prime, soon to be Tubi, and different more platforms. But today, I have a special guest with me. And this guest, we supposed to be killed them all. I'm talking about living with the Masons era. <laughs> but this man is still alive. He do a great job. Man, he played Bobby to the T. I already said his name, man, so y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Jeremiah White, man. What's up, gang? What's, what's up, up what's up, man? How you feeling, man? I'm straight, man. I'm ready for this movie to drop, though. I ain't gonna lie. Right, I feel you. We gonna get into that, though. Hey. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you wanna start with that, we can get, on, get into it. Man, look, you got it. You show show, man. Okay, so, what do what do you feel about the movie? Like, what I feel about it? How you think the, how you think it's gonna turn out, the event? I think we're gonna have a good turnout. Uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I have been telling everybody about the movie. Like, I just showed my coworkers, like, hey, you feel me? This is my trailer, November 18th. I know all their schedules, so I'm like, hey, everybody that don't work on Saturdays, I expect to see y'all there. Yeah. And you feel me? So I think it's going to be a good turnout. Um, I think it's going to be an even better turnout because, like, guys, then, bro, uh, as much as they don't really mess with us. Support us and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah but right. they, I think they're going to come out, too. I mean, because it's a Saturday. Ain't nobody gonna be really doing anything. Exactly. Like I don't think that's a weekend that everybody be into stuff. So exactly. I think I think it'd be a good turnout for real. Yeah. On everything, bro. Like me, I've been um I've been telling people as well. Like yeah. Letting them know like this movie. I've been sharing it. I'm keep sharing it. I'm exactly. posting. I'm steady posting it, sharing it, all that. Exactly. I, I'm ready, bro. I'm I'm ready to see it myself. Oh God. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I I know it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great movie. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, we put, we put from, our heart. Yeah, we come from a good person that make movies, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, World of Willie was a good movie, and right. hey, it turned out good. So Exactly, man. You know what I'm saying? We put our hearts and souls and oh, blood, God. sweat, and tears in this, bro. And it's yes, like, sir. you know what I'm saying? Just being able to come together. This movie right here, you know what I'm saying? Your last movie, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Sadly. Unfortunately. Exactly, man. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, man. We had to make history one more time, you know what I'm saying? With, with, with my boy, man. Got to, man. You know what I'm saying? I know we don't fuck with you on the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? You still my boy in real yeah, life. Man, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Fam. From Pampus. You know, real, right. real talk. All right. Real talk. No, but um, I just wanted to get into it a little bit, man. How, when did you start acting and, like, what made you pursue the acting? Oh, uh, man, acting has come from, I'm a, I'm a church boy for real. Yeah. Like all right. the all the movies and stuff I've been made, all the shows and stuff we've been in, like I'm really church boy. So like yeah. it comes from like skits at the church. Uh, mm. my me and Adrian, long live my boy, man. Long live Adrian, bro. But but me and him did skits um with Miss uh Expert. Mm. Uh that's like his cousin, I think. His auntie, I think, I believe. But like she used to get us in skits and stuff, man, and then like well, even before that. Yeah. Victor Temple days, you know, I would be doing skits. And then, like, as I got older, I took drama. I really just took it for fun. But, like, when I was in that class, he would, like, do, he would have us do, like, improv scenes. And, like, I would just be in there messing around, bro. Yeah. And I just found, like, I was like, man, look, I like this. You feel me? Making people laugh is something I like to do. Right. Um, inspiring people and showing people like, hey, it's more to it in life than, you know, just going to work a nine to five. So just doing all that, bro, seeing the, the joy on people's faces, bro, it's just like, that's something I like. I, I fell in love with. Thankfully, you feel me? DJ was in that same class. He seen I could act a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, he had to teach me some stuff. Because yeah. I wasn't a serious person, bro. I was just like, I always trying to make somebody laugh, oh <laughs> but like when we did the uh, the first play, mm. it was some scenes like we were, if he didn't tell me like all right this was when you got to be serious like this is how to be this is what I need you to do, like we would have been at that play probably for the longest probably would have forgot some lines or some more stuff bro but he he got he got with me and he was like hey we got to do this and this is how we're gonna do it you feel exactly. me so. Had to lay it down on the blueprint. Yeah, man. Appreciate that guy for real. Oh, God. Took that chance on me. And that was like six, seven years ago. Took yeah. that chance on me with one play. Yeah. Still here. And everything, man. Like, it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been in it too long. Like, y'all the OGs for real. 
especially you. Um, I'm the last OG. Well, yeah. T Will, T Will, T Will, Trevor, yeah. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. Yeah. He the um, last. He gonna be the last OG for real, for real. But hey, I don't think we got anything to worry about. We are leaving it to some good people. So. Oh yeah. Y'all doing y'all thing over there on MMP, bro. For real, I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah. Don't, y'all ain't gotta worry too much. Man. I am not gonna lie. No, MMP don't. gonna take off for real. That's, oh, gonna, yeah. be, that's gonna be the one. That's yeah. what we want to make make Most DJ. Down. You feel me? Blow. Nah, M P, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying, I love M P, bro. Like real Take talk, it. the cast is crazy. Yes. Stupid talent on the cast, you know what I'm saying. You got Ty, Tyreek. I don't know how y'all feel with Tyreek, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, you know, he a hard guy to film with because it's like, it's not that he be funny. It's just he's he, he's he don't got no emotion. Yeah. So it's just like, and it's like the way he come in the room is like he can grab your attention. Right. And I ain't gonna lie though, speaking of like Tyreek, bro, that yeah. boy come a long way. Like, if exactly. you go back and look at our YouTube days, bro, he was just a he was just a bystander for real, but he yeah. was just an extra. Exactly. And now he got like a main role in the man. Listen. And that's just like most of us though. Like, oh God. And MLP like. But that's that's the work ethic and stuff. You feel me? Exactly. Like, that's, that's y'all showing that y'all want it. Exactly. Cause I'm be honest, bro. Nobody knows this for real, but me and DJ. But like, I wasn't supposed to play Bobby. Like I was uh I was like uh, I think I remember something like that. Yeah, yeah. I was um uh, Tay Robinson, he was playing Jonathan at the time. He yeah. was playing my dad. I was his backup. Right? Oh and then okay. like so that's who, why who I was, was like who was you playing though? I was playing Jonathan. Like that's what I was oh, supposed okay, to play. Okay, okay, I got you. But yeah. like Tay Robinson was so good and then the person that was supposed to play um Bobby, he would like not show up and he wouldn't contact DJ. So like DJ was like, Well huh, they go opportunity, you feel me? So I just took it and ran with it. Exactly. But like playing Jonathan, that's when he was like, hey, all right, I need you to be a, little, a lot more serious than what you have been. Mm -hmm. So like with Bobby, the whole Bobby thing, you feel me? I had a little leniency in there because exactly. I was doing, you a young guy. Yeah. You know, so man. I was like always yeah. into it with my granddad, into it with my dad, into it with my mom. Like, so it was like, okay, I got a little leniency to, you know, be exactly. a little funny here. And, and there. it's probably, it probably was an easier role too. Yeah. Because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Bobby is a young character. You yes. your own, you know what I'm saying. So it's like you can kind of like play. You can probably yeah. play with the emotions a little bit. Like, exactly. Like and I really see I what you want to do with them. Throw little sly jokes in there because yeah. it's like, I mean, nowadays, like you got kids that do talk back to their parents. Like me and you, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. We talk back. We get the backhand. Oh yeah, we get the like, backhand. Like nowadays, sure. you feel me? Like kids, you see them talk back to their parents or whatever. So yeah. it's like, okay, I can throw a little sly joke in here. You feel me? I can throw a little sly joke in there. So it was like, it was easier playing that role. Yeah. And shout out to Kelton and Tay, bro, because they take that role and they they just own it. Like, yeah. they they facial expressions all the way down to like the words that they say, how For they sure. put everything out, bro. Yeah. They took it and ran with it. And like, Kelton yeah. has come, he came in, bro. And Kelton, like me, bro, he's just so funny. Mm -hmm. Like, outside of this, Kelton is probably one of the most funniest guys I know. No, real talk. So it's like, Coming in and having to play that serious role, mm. like that takes talent. Yeah. Like I was talking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like this. I was talking to one of my maintenance guys, and he was like, he's like that take a, he's like that take a talent for real to be like somebody outside of yourself. He was yeah. like because I'm just me, like I, I'm just me. I'm, I'm me. Like I can't be nobody else. I can't play nobody else. He said, but for y'all to be able to take what y'all live and how y'all are. And turn that into like being oh, the character. opposite. Exactly. Because I'm growing up, I was never the person to like say nothing. Like I ain't never had an argument to where like somebody a grown up was talking to me, bro, and I was just like, nah, but yeah, them, you feel me? Yeah. Like, but like in this movie and in these shows, bro, it's just been like, this is not the character. Bobby, I am in real life. You. you know, exactly. So, yeah. yeah, like it's like Tony, like bro, like me. You know me, like, yeah. you know me personally, you know me, like, from diapers, like we said, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't nothing like Tony. Nah, man. Like, you know, nah. you know, we got a little ESP in us, yeah, but, but, like that, drugs, like, Tony, Tony, like Tony bro, I'm, yeah. not, I'm nothing like Tony, bro. Nah, we like to punch that clock, say, with easy exactly, money. Exactly, bro, easy like, money. so it's just like, you know what I'm saying, me being able to play Tony, a lot yeah. of people think it's just easy, but it's like, I mean, I'm just, seeing, I'm just doing stuff I've seen, or yeah. I'm just... Trying to bring, I'm 
first of all, I'm bringing my all to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To the, to be honest, like it's just putting my all into it. And then on top of that, it's just being in the hood. You see stuff, and yeah. it's like you see how people act, and you see different exactly. emotions, and you see you see different things and characteristics. Yeah. And like I just use that exactly. show different shows I don't watch. I pick up from that and just exactly. use that and mirror it, mirror it, really. really you know, yeah, um, like I used to. Um, my favorite actor, bro, back then, like when I was smaller, yeah. I used to love watching like Bernie Mac. Mm. Uh, I used classic. to love watching like um, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, classic. Uh, Red Fox, yeah. like all them, like sure. them, them, them greats, yeah, like them, them were them legends for them legends. Like, you like, feel me? Um, real talk. And then like as I got older, I started watching. Like he was out then, but as I got older, I started watching Denzel Washington, Samuel mm. L. Jackson, yeah. uh, all them Some actors. Legends. You feel me? So it's like. I've seen all of them in a funny role. I've seen all of them in a serious role. But like the top tier of like out of, out of those people, like if you had to put him in a role to where he had to be nothing but like serious, like yeah. I started watching Denzel because like yeah. in a lot of his movies, he ain't really just being funny. Like yeah, he, he just being him. It's just like it's, it's like, like he make it himself. Like, exactly. Like and that's why he's so good of an actor. Like right. It's like he don't, he ain't trying to do too much. He don't do too much when he act. He don't like it's, pursue it too much. Exactly. It's just like he do he bring it naturally. And it's and like to go up to him like half the movies I don't watch are like action movies. Yeah. So it's like you feel me? If I go up to him, I'm thinking, shoot, I pop try to put my hand out. He might try to a karate move or something on me. Exactly. Got my head by my back. I'm like, hold on, man, you feel me? But it's like he that ain't me even the life. Yeah, like it ain't. It's like taking that acting is a very great talent to have, yes. bro, for real. Because like now, that, now that I'm thinking about it, like let's we get, look let's at get these in, let's people. get into it. Because people, a, a lot of a lot of people think that acting is so easy. Like all you do is read a script. Nah. Like if you think about it, if you read a script. Normally, like if I just read a script like I'm reading a book, bro, that shit, it's not gonna be good, bro. Nah, nah, you can you can tell like when somebody's just like reading off of a piece of paper. Exactly. Like, I mean, if I was to just walk around with this piece of paper and be like saying my, excuse me, saying my lines and like yeah. doing stuff like that, bro, it is not gonna sell. It is not gonna look good. Ain't nobody gonna buy that. But like for you to be able to at least memorize half those lines and be able to like. Twist it up a little bit and say, improv, put you some improv like, in there. Exactly, bro. That takes a lot and of make talent. it natural. Exactly, like that because takes too much time. Then, then real. on top of making it natural, making using emotion. Yes, like people don't understand the emotion part is the that's the hardest. That's part. one of the hardest parts. Exactly, like it ain't just it's your 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 body language, yeah. your emotions. It's so much going to acting that people don't know, bro, mm -hmm. and like they uh, they underestimate it. Like you, you just don't. But wake it's a, up. it's a talent. Yeah, it's you a, feel me? It's an art. Like you don't just wake up one day and be like, I'm gonna be an actor. Exactly. Like no, bro. It took me plenty classes, of classes. Like I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. When I was a kid, bro, like I haven't took no classes, classes, but I mean, I was, I was always in my room, basically perfecting my craft. Like, yeah. like at a young age, I'm talking about 10, 11, 12. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my room. I'm talking to the wall. I mean, exactly. it, it is what it is. But it's like. It made me the the actor I am now. Right. It's just like me talking to the wall, acting like I got a girlfriend, or or talking like I got a best friend right there, or yes. a group of people right there, just trying to using my emotion, right. really playing with joking with them for real. That's what made me so diverse with the acting I'm a, and being able to use my out. emotions. I gotta shout out this person in the company, Sana. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to Sana, man. Shout out to her for real, cause I ain't gonna lie. And like no no shade or none to the people that played my sister before her, yeah. but like I ain't never had a counterpart that held me to like the T. I gotta I gotta do better. Exactly like she like, a and that's one thing about Sanaa. Let me say I don't mean to cut you off, oh, but you're good. but it's just like Sanaa, bro. She a hell of an actress, bro. Yes. Like the way she can use her emotion, she make it so natural, bro. Bro, what? And she make it seem like. It's easier than what it is. Yes. Like, she, I'd have had a scene with her in the movie, um, her crying, her having to cry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, did, uh, she had actually two of them yeah. in the movie and stuff like that. But just being able to, for her to use them emotions, 
is crazy, bro. Crazy. Like that take that's some art, bro. That's yeah. talent, bro. Like that's not something anybody any random person can just do. Yeah. And like I ain't, I ain't the the best actor out there. I ain't right. the best actor. In the I mean, country. we not the best, but you know. But I'm gonna be honest. Like watching her, you would think like she done got off a private jet. Yeah. Because like the way she act is just like it comes to her, bro. Yeah. Like this is her lifestyle, bro. Like exactly. It's crazy. Bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Like I, I swear, I salute to her for real. That's my dog. She know that I love you, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's, it's facts, bro. Like it's just like the acting. Her acting come natural, bro. And it's just it's so crazy because it's just like some people, most a lot of people don't understand that. Nah. At all. You know what I'm saying? But what was what was some of the things that when you was growing up that you like to do or things that interested you or something? You know what I'm saying? Man, growing up. Like you said, we from ESP. Right. Like I seen stuff, and I've been like I've been in front of stuff that I shouldn't have at a certain age. Right. Um, but like seeing all that, I like just being around other kids when I was growing up. Yeah. Like I like to be like it didn't even have to be kids younger or older than me, like around the same age. Like we could have been five years apart. Mm. But like just getting into like. Uh, Playing basketball, you feel me? Playing pickup football, uh, playing like at the park, uh, just improving. Like we didn't even know it at the time, but we right. was just improving a game, mm. and you know, like doing stuff like that growing up. That's what really excited me. Um, I wasn't much of a person to stay in. I had probably the newest games ever that came out, and I was outside. Exactly. Like, my mama already knew where I was at by the time she woke up or by the time she left for work, came home from work. Like, I was outside. I was always outside. So, like, being outside for me all the time when I was growing up, I just learned how to, you know, um, graduate. I mean, have people, you know, gravitate to me. Right. Like, I was always a person, like, to just, you know, go out and be everybody. People like, be person. cool with everybody. You know, yeah. very much a people stuff. person. No, nah, you definitely is, bro. Yeah. And like now, now though you feel me, like I am that person that like to sit at home on the game, and but it's like family man. You feel me? Yeah. So like I got my daughter at the house. Uh, my wife's pregnant with congrats, our son. Congrats. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, so it's like now, bro. My mindset is like how can what how can I make this dollar stretch for me and my family? You know how can I what can I Second do to place. make this? You know so. It's not more so like what it used to be like when I was out here single and stuff. Like I was just like, man, what female I'm finna hit up today? Who I'm finna entertain today? So, like growing up, it was it's kind of different from where I come from and how I am now. Like I'm very much an inside person. Like the only time I go places is if I go to work, if I run an errand, or if I come over here and film. So yeah. it's like, other than that, now. You can say I'm a gamer, yeah. but back then I was very much outside. I was very much in the streets, right? At somebody's house, somebody's mama, yeah, probably spend the night, like all that, you everything, know what I'm bro. Much like myself, man. I was the same way, man. Exactly. It's just like, you know, we was always outside together. I was always at your mama's house, exactly. Spend the night, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Matter yeah. of fact, she babysat us. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We just, used to. Uh, I was talking to DJ them the other day, bro. We used to play wrestling. Yeah, yes, yes, remember yes. Your, remember your sister broke her arm, bro? Oh, yes. I remember we that. We freaked out. We were, so, we were so scared, bro. We was like, boy, we the, finna die, the, bro. The way my mama, the way our parents <laughs> is, bro. They not street, but it's just like. They don't play it. They don't play certain stuff. Yeah. It's like, especially about their kids. No. They don't play about us and then. But you know it was straight. You know what I'm saying. She yeah. got, she got. You know what I'm saying. Fix and stuff, health and stuff. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Cool. That's that's crazy, bro. It's just <laughs> like, but you know what I'm saying. It's like you the same person though. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you you change as like how you was like far as being outside and yeah. being doing this and doing that, but. Personality-wise, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You still the same. You know what I'm saying. That, that's what 
That's one thing I salute you for. Appreciate you know that. I'm saying being yourself and always being who you are. Appreciate you know what I'm saying, that. and being the person you be yeah. all the time and stuff like that, man. Being yourself, because most people change up, and over the years, and they they forget who they is. They forget who they came up with. They forget, you know what I'm saying, yeah. who who was with them all the time. You exactly. know what I'm saying, and who was always who cared about them type stuff. Exactly. So, like I. Are, I still, my fault to cut you, you off. Good. Like, I, I still, it's people that, like, I don't talk to on a daily. Yeah. But, like, it ain't no animosity. Right. Like, it, it's, it's love. You feel me? Like, um, I be, I just be in my own world, bro. Like, I don't, hell, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Half the time, I can just be quiet all day, and it ain't nothing wrong. It's just, hey, I don't feel like saying nothing. Okay. And people, certain people take it, like, because I'm always talking. Like, I'm always, you know, the one that's starting a conversation in the room or holding a conversation. So it's like, when I am that person of just, like, sitting back. Chilling, sitting back, chilling. Like, people will be like, are you all right? I'm straight. And that's, that's how I see, that's the same way with me. Yeah. Like, if I'm not smiling, it's like they think I'm mad or something. Exactly. But I'm naturally, I naturally look mad, yeah. but I'm not mad. I, I'm most of the time actually happy shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's just what it is, but, you know. Mm -hmm. It ain't no biggie for real, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, congrats on you being a family man. And I'm a family that. man as well. Yeah, you man. Know what you I'm got saying? you one. Little girl, man. Little one twin. Little, you know, everything. Hey. Love the death, man. You know what I'm saying? Little family at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we getting older, man. We you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be 24 this year. That's crazy. I'm 22. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> crazy, man. I, I remember we was like, Little man, like <laughs> eight and six, or the that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. We were so rough, too. Like, oh, yeah, like that's that, and yeah. I think that's something that's wrong with today's society. Like, you they don't can't know really how to play, yeah, like you can't really be too rough with somebody because they got an anger and shit. Like, and they'll get mad and do yeah. something that they shouldn't do, exactly. It's like, like kids nowadays, bro, to be honest, bro, in my mind, teen even teenagers, like. Yeah. They don't know how to be teenagers. They nah. don't know how to, kids don't know how to be kids. They, they doing stuff that grown people do or yeah. they saying stuff that grown people supposed to say. And it's just like, that's not how we was. Nah. We wouldn't, we wouldn't, I mean, we might have cussed, but it wasn't, we wouldn't say it around our parents. Yeah. You some, know what I'm saying? If something slipped out in front of my mama, boy. Yes, bro. Like, yes. what you say? But half the ah, time, it ain't even what you say. It's, it's whatever they got close to you, feel me? Boom, you get throw it, throw it at you on oh, everything. God. It's just like nowadays, it's like the world, society done changed yes. so much, yes. and it's scary. It is. It's like that's why I'll be on my. That's why I'm, when my girl, my little girl get older, I'm gonna be on her so much. Yeah. Like you know, what I'm saying this is how you need to move. This is what you need to do. Yeah. Because I done did it. I done went through whatever you going. You trying to go through, or you gonna go through. Man, we finna get ready to get up out of here, man. My guy got stuff to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got stuff to, to do. Fam. Like we said, family man, you know what I'm saying? But it was a good I'm good to be, bro. Good, I good to see you, man. I ain't good good to, to do the little podcast, man. Yes, man I enjoyed you, man. No problem, brother. My guy. That's a wrap for Tony Talks, man. Make sure y'all tune in to DJ's MMP on Amazon Prime, man. And no Season November, finale. November the 18th. Get them tickets. Another Get loving family, tickets. man. Do not forget. Get Another loving tickets. family. You don't want to miss this movie. I'm going to say it right here. You don't want to miss the movie, nigga. Never. Never.